so by using technical imaging and scientific analysis, we're able to learn a great deal about not only the people that are depicted, but the artists that were painting them. These two portraits are a great example of um, sort of a study in contrast. They're both portraits of women. They're more or less contemporary with each other, but their material differences um, give them very different appearances. This portrait is painted with an animal skin glue tempera, so a water-based medium, and, with, and the pigments are listed here on the label in many cases because we were able to actually identify them. But they're often um, simple um, mineral pigments like um, you know, red and yellow ochres, uh, there's carbon black, and um, uh, calcium-based whites. This picture is painted with beeswax and caustic as the medium, and that has a much more transparent um, quality to it, and it requires um, denser pigments to make an opaque paint. So in this case, lead white is, is mixed into almost all of the colors to create an opacity in the paint. 